The 2020 Major League Baseball season is about to kick off, so here is everything you need to know about your 2020 New York Yankees. The buzz around Yankees camp this spring has mostly been about the Houston Astros and the implications of their cheating scandal. You know, disappointing, uh, frustrating. It's just sick to my stomach, you know, just to find out, you know, you got a lot, I got a, had a lot of respect, you know, for those guys and, you know, what they did and, you know, especially, you know, what they did for the city of Houston and that whole organization, man, a team that was in last place and, Drafted right, got the right players in there, and, you know, eventually, you know, got to the World Series. You know, I had a lot of respect for them, you know, the way they played, what they did, and then to find out that, you know, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't earned, it was, they cheated. But the past is the past. You can't go back and change it. The Yankees need to turn the page if they want to capture their 28th World Series title. Look, we, we feel like we've been a championship caliber team now for a few years. Been knocking on that door, haven't pushed through yet. So in case you've been in a coma all winter, here's a look at who we've got coming back to start the 2020 season. This is one of the Yankees' strongest teams in years. At catcher Gary Sanchez, who is entering his age 27 season. Gary has had a tough time staying on the field, but when he has been in there, he's mashed. He's slimmed down a bit this year and has worked on a new catching stance that is supposed to help him block balls in the dirt a bit more, but also take some pressure off of his legs and keep him on the field. Backing him up will be Kyle Higashioka, who smashed 20 home runs in AAA in 2019, but hasn't done much at the big league level yet. Look for him to be a solid backup. At first base, Luke Voigt. He was one of the Yankees' best hitters in 2019 until about July when he suffered a sports hernia that required surgery in the offseason. Since coming back, he says he's in the best shape of his life. He's known for his great eye and his ability to make hard contact. Backing him up will be Mike Ford, a left-handed hitter with great power who also slimmed down quite a bit this offseason. Okay, so I'm the only one who spent all winter eating Dove caramel-filled chocolates? At second base, DJ LeMayhew entering his second season with the Yankees after a tremendous 2019 in which he nearly won an MVP award and hit a huge game-tying home run in Game 6 of the ALCS. This is LeMayhew's final season under contract, so don't be surprised if the Yankees give him an extension. At shortstop, a smart pick for an MVP candidate, Glaber Torres is projected to have a monster year, entering just his age 23 season Glaber is already a two-time All-Star and smashed 38 home runs in 2019. Third base will be manned by Giovanni Urshela, who came from out of nowhere to grab the third base position last year when Miguel Andujar went down with injury. Andujar, who was the 2019 runner-up to the American League Rookie of the Year, is expected to play more of a utility role in 2020 as the Yankees hope to keep his dynamic bat in the lineup. The outfield is going to be a mix of Giancarlo Stanton, just two years removed from a 50 home run season, and Aaron Judge. Ditto. Strata, deal, swung on. A high drive to deep right center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Into the Yankees' bullpen. As well as Brett Gardner coming off a very nice age 35 season, Mike the Sockman Talkman, a defensive whiz with a sweet left handed swing. And when he returns from injury, Aaron Hicks. Down the line, and it is good! Hicks, 4-1 Yankees. Clint Frazier could also factor into the mix as well. The rotation added a big piece, Garrett Cole, who is in the prime of his career and is coming off of one of the most dominating performances in recent years. Luis Severino is back from an injury and should be entering his prime. James Paxton is out till June with spinal surgery, and it's hard to be certain what to expect from him when he comes back. I think the Yankees are going to take their time with him and try and keep him healthy down the stretch. Masahiro Tanaka enters the final season of his seven-year pact with the Yankees and is pitching for a big payday and for his Yankees legacy. Jay Happ will take the ball in the spring training opener and likely be the number four man in the rotation. 
Jordan Montgomery, now almost two years removed from Tommy John surgery, looks to round out the rotation. Domingo Herman is on the ineligible list till midseason, and Davey Garcia is their top prospect in AAA. The bullpen remains a strength of the Yankees and is anchored by the three-headed monster of Araldis Chapman, Zach Britton, and Adam Adovino. Chad Green and Tommy Canely aren't so bad either. Most projections show the Yankees winning about 100 games, but this team won 103 games last season with a record number of injuries. Some projections show the team winning as many as 118 games. I think the truth, as it often is, is somewhere in the middle. My prediction is about 108 or 109 wins. Join me all season long on the New York Yankees Recaps Podcast, available wherever you get your podcasts, and subscribe to this channel to be a part of the fan documentary, The Chase for 28. Send me your reactions to at NYY Recaps on Twitter to be a part of the film. I'll see you next time.